I got something new in the shop that I'm really excited to tell you guys about. And it is Avid CNC's 15 watt diode laser system. And I ran a couple quick tests, but I've got a big project coming up that I need to work out the workflow for. So, uh, but before I jumped into all of that, I wanted to show this to you uh, and kind of give you an introduction and what it's capable of. And then we're gonna do some tests as well and test out just to get my feet wet um, for, this, for this upcoming project. All right, so let me tell you a little more specifics about this laser. So like I said, it's a 15 watt diode laser. Now you may be thinking, well, it's not that powerful, but uh, what I really like about it is that it is a very expensive, uh, high quality laser that is uh, meant to run uh, days, like full, leg, full length days in a production setting. So this is not a $200 Amazon laser uh, just mounted on here. This is a very high quality, um, they call it a high duty cycle laser. So I'm really excited about that because this project uh, that I've got coming up, it is gonna take a long time to run. So uh, those types of projects in a production setting, that's what this is built for. The other really cool thing is this whole laser gantry does not, you don't have to remove it uh, when you're routing and then you wanna go to laser, it is air actuated. So it pops down when it is ready to operate and does its lasering. And then when it's done lasering, it pops back up out of the way, it's spring loaded. So that is really cool. So when Avid reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test out this laser, uh, the first thing I asked them is how is it different? What are the benefits uh, for like, like what's unique about it? Because there's a ton of lasers on the market and what is this unique unique thing that it, that it brings to my operation? Now, obviously it gives me a, a, a four by four laser bed. So I can laser large, I have a big capacity. That's bigger than any other laser that I have. But honestly, that's not a really big selling point to me. So I was like, eh, okay. But when we started talking about the integration that of this laser into my existing Avid CNC, I was absolutely sold. And this is where they have absolutely shined. This is complete, this laser is completely integrated with Mach 4 software, the software that I already use to control the router. Now get this, this is the high point of this. Switching from routing to lasering is as easy as doing a tool change. So as easy it is to switch out this quarter inch bit for a bowl and tray bit, that's how easy it is to switch from routing to laser. In that, I'm absolutely sold on and none of the other machines in my shop that I have or have tested or have seen have that integration to that level. All right, a couple other very important features that this laser comes with is air assist. So air assist, uh, if you're familiar with lasers at all, uh, is, is very important to, uh, it increases your cut capacity by clearing out that debris. Um, and it's almost like, air assist, um, think about it this way, is like blowing on a fire. Like you got a flame and if you put air to it, uh, it accelerates it. When it comes to engraving, that is where diode lasers really excel and you can get very, very good details with it. This particular laser has a .007 uh, so I think believe that's seven thousandths of an inch uh, laser beam. And uh, here's the results of our tests uh, that you saw. Uh, we've got, it's just a very, very small, um, high detailed engrave. So that's really cool. All right, so when it comes to safety, the laser comes with these, I'm calling Elton John glasses. Uh, so we've got that, very stylish but safety, you wanna protect your eyes. Uh, another thing is there are currently a couple open source designs for an exhaust um, shoe that I'm gonna put on here eventually. And what it's gonna do is it'll set on this side, just like this dust um, shoe for the uh, router, it'll sit on this side and it will, I'll put another hose, a smaller than this, probably a three inch diameter hose and uh, it'll be able, it'll extract all of the fumes away. But honestly, when you're doing engraving like this, like I'm in my garage and uh, 
you couldn't even, you could smell a little bit of burning wood, but when you're engraving, it's really not that bad, especially when you're engraving hardwoods. This entire assembly comes with the laser. It took me a couple hours to set up and run all these air assist, uh, communication hoses, and it just runs with your drag chain. So it's really easy to integrate it together. So all of these cables runs through the drag chain and is ran to a brand new box uh, that houses all of your uh, electronics to operate the laser. If you wanna learn more about this laser, I'll leave a link down in the description. But first, let me show you the results of this test that we did. So for the first project, uh, for this router laser combo, I decided to make a bourbon smoker. Kind of a cool project, and requires two tool paths, a uh, bowl and tray bit, and a down cut bit, and then we switched to the laser. So for this Kentucky engraving, uh, Kentucky bourbon is a big thing, and I live like a few miles, not very far, from the heart of bourbon country, like Jim Beam and all them. Name dropping, I know Jim Beam, no I don't. So anyways, this is a cool project to <laughs> make in Kentucky and uh, a, a good project to show off both capabilities. So we started out with the bowl and tray bit and uh, kind of made, kind of roughed everything out, made the chimney, and then we switched over to the down cut bit to uh, make the final cutout and cut out the middle for the filter. So then is when the magic happens, uh, just like I switched from a bowl and tray bit to a, this down cut bit. Uh, I switched from the down cut bit to the laser to do the laser engraving. Uh, and it really is that simple. So simple as a tool change, reset your Z height and hit go and you are lasering. So these are just some really, really cool results to be able to go from routing to lasering so easily. I like it. So where do we go from here? Well, I mentioned before that I have a large project coming up, big project, I'm sure you're wondering what it is. Uh, and that project is to make as many of these as I can in one go to lay the whole CNC bed full of wood and it makes 80 bourbon smokers. So stay tuned for that upcoming video where I make 80 bourbon smokers in one run where I route them first and then come back and laser them. We're gonna see if we can scale this, this test up 80X. That seems intimidating. Uh, and uh, see what happens. And the whole goal, I'm not just making 80 of them for the heck of it, right? Uh, we have four upcoming uh, markets where we'll be vending, and this is one of the products that we'll be using, so, or be selling. Uh, so that's what it's for, and we're gonna be able to do 80 of these in one go uh, that's the idea and that's the hope and plan and hopefully it works. So let me know down in the comments below if you've got any questions on this laser or this test uh, and or questions that you'd like me to answer in the upcoming project video where I make 80 of these and uh, I'll be sure to answer them or try to answer them in that video. So this is actually the second iteration on my bourbon smoker. If you wanna see the first iteration, watch this video right here. Click right there and I will see you in that video.